Eyes. Good day, learners! How's your day? I bet they're eager once again to learn something new in today's episode of GlabGen's Is TV Teaching on Air. I'm Mel Faith, your Technology and Livelihood Education Teacher in Information and Communication Technology 9. Tara! Let's explore vocational and lifelong lesson in this episode. Before we start our adventure, let's have first our most essential learning competency. Input data into a computer. Furthermore, you must be able to 1. Identify the different application software 2. Check the accuracy of the information 3. Save the information in accordance with standard operating procedures 4. Classify the different storage devices As we unfold new discoveries, let me ask you first, are you familiar with these logos? Try to identify this application and tell something about their features and the main purpose of it. Wow! Good job! I know there's a lot of ideas transpired in your mind. Now, let us unveil what's more with this different application software. What is application software? Application software. Application software is capable of dealing with user inputs and help the user to complete the task. It is also called end user programs or only an app. It resides above the system software. Types of application software. According to the needs of user, it is categorized into the following types. Word processing software. Word processing software is used to manipulate format text to create memos, letters, faxes, and documents. It is also used to format and beautify the text. Spreadsheet software. Spreadsheet software is used to perform manipulation and calculations. In spreadsheet software, data is stored in intersection rows and column. Presentation software. Presentation software is a program used to show the information in the form of slides. We can add text, graphics, video, and images to slide to make them more informative. Presentation software helps the presenter to present their ideas with ease and visual information easy to understand. Database software. Database software is a phrase used to describe any software that is designed for creating databases and managing the information stored in them. Multimedia software. It is the software that is able to play, create, or record images, audio, or video files. They are used for video editing, animation, graphics, and the image editing. Internet browser. A web browser, commonly referred to as a browser, it is software application for accessing information on the World Wide Web. Data processing. Now that you already know the different application software that you can use to enter data into a computer, let us now discuss how to enter the data is processed using computer. All the virtual world is a form of data which is continuously being processed. Data processing cycle is a term used to explain the sequence of steps or process used to process the raw data in a machine-readable form and to produce an information. What is the difference between data and information? Data refers to the raw facts that do not have much meaning to the user and may include numbers, letters, symbols, sounds, or images, while information refers to the meaningful output obtained after processing the data. There are four main stages of data processing cycle. 1. Data collection 2. Data input 3. Data processing and 4. Data output Data collection Data collection process is the first step which provides the data. Collecting data is hard work on its own, but it's the most essential on which the result depends. The quality of inputs will determine the, the quality of output. This data collection can be done in various ways, includes interviews, use of the questionnaires, observation. In most cases, the data is collected after sampling. Data input. Data input refers to the process where the collected data is converted from human-readable form to machine-readable form. The conversion takes place in the input device. Data processing. This is the transformation of the input data by the CPU to a more meaningful output. 
Some of the operation performed on the data includes calculation, comparing values, and sorting. This is the most important step as it provides the process data in the form of output which will be used further. Data Output The final activity in the data processing cycle is producing the desired output also referred to as information. This information can be distributed to the target group or stored for future use. This output can also be used directly in presentation or the records. This may even be saved as to be used as an input for further data processing which then be become a part of a cycle which is being discussed. Checking and saving information After the data has been processed and produced an output, it is important to check the quality of the information before saving it. Now, how are we going to check the quality of the information? 5 Characteristics of High Quality Information 1. Accuracy 2. Completeness 3. Consistency 4. Uniqueness and 5. Timeliness Storage Devices Once finished checking the quality of the information you have, you can now save it into storage media devices. Storage device is a piece of computer hardware used for saving, carrying, and pulling out data. It can keep and retain information short-term or long-term. It can be a device inside or outside the computer or a server. Other term for storage device is a storage medium or storage media. Storage devices are categorized into two, primary storage and secondary storage. Primary storage, also known as main memory, is directly or indirectly connected to the central processing unit via a memory bus. A CPU continuously reads instructions stored there and execute them as required. Secondary storage, it is not directly accessible by CPU. Computer usually uses its input-output channels to access secondary storage and transfer the desired data using intermediate area in primary storage. For your activity, let's identify what application software or program is appropriate to the use of the following items. Choose your answer on the box below. And for your performance task, using a Venn diagram, compare and contrast the primary and secondary storage device. And that is our lesson for today's episode. I hope you learned a lot. Always remember, at PLE, we keep on going beyond the traditional. Bye!